Asimi Goita, the Malian colonel who has overthrown two presidents in the past nine months, said he would oversee a transition to a democratic election as he was sworn in as interim president on Monday. Goita, a 38-year-old Special Forces commander, had already been declared president by the Constitutional Court last month after ousting Bordeaux but was formally sworn in on Monday during a ceremony in the capital Bamako. Within hours, he appointed opposition leader and former minister Chogwell Maiga as prime minister according to a decree read on state television. It was not immediately clear to what extent Maiga's appointment would satisfy calls from Mali's neighbor and military allies like France and the United States for a civilian led government. Those countries fearful the political upheaval could undermine a fight against Islamic insurgents across the Sahel region also have also been pressing to ensure election go ahead next February as scheduled. The situation offers us the opportunity to put the process of transition back in the direction desired by the people. Goita, who had traded his camouflage fatigues for a dark grey officer's uniform and a yellow sash, said at his inauguration. He said he was committed to implementing the actions necessary for the success of the transition, notably the organization of credible, fair and transparent elections that are held as scheduled. Goita was one of several colonels who overthrew President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita last August, a transitional government that would oversee an 18-month transition to democratic election was then put in place with Doe as president and Goita as his vice. Goita last month offered the arrest of both Doe and the prime minister for not informing him about the details of a cabinet reshuffle which he arranged violated the transition charter. Both later resigned while in custody. West African region bloc ECOWAS and the African Union last week suspended Mali from the organization although they declined to impose further sanctions. The World Bank said on Friday it had temporary post payments to their country. Former colonial power France, which maintains more than 5,000 troops in Mali to combat Islamist militant, said it would temporarily suspend joint military operations with Malian troops but would continue to operate in the country separately. Subscribe, like and share. Hit the subscription button to get notification when we upload future videos. Until next time, bye bye.